Hey, what's up? Gary here. Let's take a look at being able to activate your Gojira X or Plenty X plugins for the new Quad Cortex Core OS 3.0.0 update. Let's go check it out. Okay, so let's try this again. I had just shot this entire video. Uh, I had an issue with my plugins where they were locked at first, and uh, I had a pretty good feeling that if I just clicked refresh that this was going to uh, to unlock them after a fresh CoreOS 3.0.0 update, uh, and it did. And, uh, and then went to you know demonstrate the rest of the process of unlocking and activating your plugins and being able to access them. But I forgot to uh, record, screen record, my Cortex Control app. And I made a lot of references between the device and that. So we're doing this again. Anyways, uh, enough of me babbling about my technical difficulties and such. Uh, let's just go through the process of being able to uh, view your two plugins that you have available with CoreOS 3.0.0, which is Gajira X and Pliny X. Um, I'll give you a couple of prereqs of what you need to do. I'll show you where you can find the uh, plugin presets and devices, and I will uh, show you both of the views to get to uh, those devices from both Cortex Control and the device itself. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let's first pull up Cortex Control here. And if you will look at the grid, the standard area that you're going to uh, to be looking at, as soon as you click anywhere into the grid to be able to view your devices, okay? If you scroll to the top, you're gonna see plugins. If you click plugins, this is where you're going to be able to see all the devices that you have access to if you have these, these plugins unlocked. Now, I'm going to patch into the video really quick what it looks like if they're locked. If you see this, if you see these lock icons next to these plugins, uh, a couple of things are going to be necessary in order to be able to gain access to them, okay? So first, you need a cloud account with Neural DSP, okay? It needs to be the same one that's activated on your quad cortex. And you need to have also purchased Plenty X and or Gojira X with that account and unlocked the license in order to be able to use these plugins and the devices that come with these plugins on your core os 3.0.0 upgraded quad cortex it's a mouthful so those are the prereqs that you you need you need the account you need to have purchased them it needs to be the same account that's activated on the quad cortex okay so once that happens if you see there is lock icons next to these as i just shown you click refresh if you do that more than likely that should then display these without an, a, a lock and you'll be able to interact with them, okay? That's what you should be uh, expecting to be able to do. And that's exactly the same with a quad cortex. So let me get over here and show you what that looks like too. If I click anywhere on the device grid, you'll notice here at the top, you see plugins. If I tap that once, you'll see these two are, are lit up. They're, they're capable of being accessed and they are not uh, showing a lock icon with them grayed out, okay? so. First of all, that's how you can tell whether or not you have activated your plugins and have them available. Now I'm going to walk through with Cortex Control showing you how to access the devices and how to also access the presets that come along with them. Just to be thorough and make sure that you uh, you see how these go. So right now on the device grid, okay, if I'm looking at plugins, so as I mentioned, I'm just looking at a standard preset. It's one of my, my own. In fact, you know what, here, let me go to a, uh, to a default factory preset just for the sakes of being able to show you this in a way that will line up to what you would see. Okay, so 1A, uh, factory Brit 2203, okay? I'm going to go ahead and click right here to be able to add a new device. And the device list is gonna be over here on the left-hand side if you're using Cortex Control. I want you to scroll up. So if you're down here, you gotta scroll up, plugins, click plugins. Uh, if you have Plenty X or Gojira X, we're just gonna take any of these and you'll notice that they all have a multitude of different uh, devices that uh, that come with the plugins, okay? And I'm really excited to get using some of these too. So uh, it's, uh, it's definitely something I can't wait to explore. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and click one of these just to be able to show you that you are capable of being able to take any of the plugin device blocks and drag them into any of the existing presets or any of your uh, uh, user created presets. You can use them anywhere. So these can interpolate any way you like. You can take the old devices and drag them into it, old devices, meaning old devices from uh, existing presets and drag them into presets for the plugins as well. So you have the ability to interchain any of these new devices together and old devices together. Okay. So now I've shown you how to do this on the 
uh, Cortex Control app. Let's go ahead and back up a tick. And let's do the same thing on the Cortex itself, okay? So I'm gonna click down here to add a device, go to plugins, click on Gojira. Uh, let's just take some, like a, a, a yeah, the dirt pedal, let's do that, boom. And just like that, you see that you have it available to you, uh, just like you would any other device, okay? So they just, the, the plugin devices show up just like you would have any other device be here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the presets really quick just so I can show you how to access these. So generally, when you open up presets, you'll you'll be looking at something like this, right? You'll see my presets, factory presets, cloud, downloads, et cetera. If you go all the way down on the left-hand side here, uh, go over in Cortex Control to plugin presets, go ahead and click that. If you have access to either or of Gojira X or Plenty X, click on this, and you're going to notice that you have access in this, this drop-down bar here. To, uh, to some of the standard presets that you would see in these plugins, okay? So this is the Gojira-based uh, presets that they made specifically for, with the band. Then you have artists that have leveraged using this, uh, this plugin that have made their own presets, right? You have access to all of those in here, as well as Neural DSP. They have also gone through and made a myriad of different presets that they really liked and, uh, and did the same thing. And now you have access to all of these throughout your your quad cortex, same with plenty X, okay? And just to be thorough, I'll show you where these are at. Yeah, all of these are really, really, really good. So, showing you how to do this on cortex control. Let's go ahead and step over here again for continuity's sake to the quad cortex. If I tap, so what I just did here is I just tapped on the name of the preset to get me to the, the presets menu, okay? Now, if I go up here to the top and I tap presets, Okay, you see if I look a little bit further down, there's plugin presets. We're gonna go ahead and tap that. And now you will see without locks or anything else, the Gojira X and Plenty X presets are available here. We click the same exact look and feel as what you were just seeing in Cortex Control. That's what you can do here on the Quad Cortex itself. Select any of these. GD Rhythm 6 is amazing. I absolutely love this preset. And just like that, now you have full access to the presets for the plugins as well as all of the devices within these presets, within these plugins, uh, for direct usage in anything across any of the stored presets that you have in the Quad Cortex. There you have it, quick and dirty, not all that difficult at all to be able to activate your plugins and have access to all those great devices and presets on Core OS 3.0.0 with PCOM support. I am so excited, I'm gonna say this every video that I do, I'm so excited for this day to finally be here. Uh, it's a great feature, it's gone pretty well without a hitch to be able to get upgraded and get things going. Like I mentioned, I had that one issue where uh, my plugins were still showing locked. Just go ahead and click that refresh button if you're logged into your account as you should be with uh, access to the licenses in your cloud account for Neural and you should be good to go. Uh, I'm going to keep cranking out more and more videos. I'm going to get working on this Gojira A-B test, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.